This is Adam, the simplest creature on example of which I want to explain the artificial life theory and show the basic techniques of the brain engineering. Despite the fact its functional capabilities are significantly limited by the nature of environment and the primitive design of its brain, the creature is able to manage its own homeostasis autonomously. It is producing rational behavior in a response to external environment, which is achieved by just 100 neurons. This network was built with Heaven Sandbox, a special development environment which I create for testing my own model of artificial neurons. Idea behind that was simple. If you can emulate biological brain cells, or at least copy some of their data transmission mechanics, in theory, it makes possible to build a simple reflexes and even a complete neural system. And it seems like it really does. I personally think it opens a huge number of opportunities, sometimes surprising and even fascinating. I decide to continue development of the Sandbox as open source and public project, so my work could expand and evolve. With this educational course, I want to share about my own research and experience and what is the actual benefits this technology could bring for you and your own applications. In following series, you will briefly understand the structure and functions of the nervous system, explore the opportunities of the sandbox, and learn step by step how to create your own artificial brain. That two-dimensional environment was built to generate different kinds of the sensory information and, and also to be interactable so we can watch how the brain is responding to a stream of the stimuli. It is contain a number of elements, a key one of which is the creature's avatar. Basically, this complex object is a simulation of biological body which is having a set of sensory, motor and a few internal systems, which in turn allows the neuroconstruction to interact remotely with the external environment through a set of specialized protocols that I'm calling a bridges. To get better understanding of the bridges, let's look at the simplest diagram of the central nervous system, which is currently presented on the screen. It consists of three main blocks, the sensory input, the core, and the motor output system. With the help of the bridges, each one of the blocks can be interconnected with the different parts of the body. In general, it will be receptors for the sensory, muscles and proprioceptors for the motor, and a special kind of internal receptors that informs the core about inner state of the body. You might have noticed green and red colored objects. They run by this simple script that makes them move randomly and emit the smell which can hang around for a sum of the time. The only reason of their existence is to be catched and eaten, so I just call them a food. When the green food is eaten by Adam, his internal satiety index is going to be increased. Otherwise, when it's red one, satiety is going to be decreased, which at some point will produce the hunger. In future, satiety and hunger will become our keys from understanding the role of subjective needs and motivation control, and a whole life cycle of the network. For now, I suggest we should look at the sensory system more closely. Adam's body is equipped with a large number of sensory systems that will provide his brain with a full range of information about the environment. The visual system is made with a number of receptive areas which is making a common field of view. They divided by the two main groups, left and right. This forms binocular vision in a two-dimensional space with overlapping in areas 1 and 2 on each side. When a sensory stimulus appears in the object's field of view, the corresponding receptor converts it and transmit into specific parts of the network through the bridge protocol. Obviously, I defined color property of the surrounding object as a criterion for receptive activation. And of course, the creature has a number of other sensory systems, the olfactory, which is maintainly purposed to react with pheromones that is generated by the food, the haptic receptors that is activated when something physically interacts with the creature's skin or its frontal vibrances in a sense of touch or the pressure, gustatory receptors that making a sense of the taste, and the vestibular system that is responsible for the linear and angular velocity reception, which is required by the two-dimensional physics nature. This in turn is very important for the motor system because it's a one of the basic components for building the cerebellum. As you can see it's nothing too hard for now. 
If you want to support this project, please don't forget to subscribe, hit a like button, and share this video. Also, you can check out Hedon's collection at Get Gems Marketplace or trade some AV at Stunfy Dex. Currently, we are published at the open network blockchain only, so please be aware of the fake products and verify all of the information before any action. <laughs>